Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to work with a website called Glitch and Glitch is a site that allows you to code your own web pages and learn HTML and learn a little bit about C CSS uh, right here, right within the browser. Uh, normally when you code a website you are downloading files and you're uploading to a server. Well, Glitch allows you to kind of get a feel for coding and how the web environment works without actually having to download any software or using any specific files. Um, and so it's kind of a cloud-based hosting site um, that you don't have to really do a whole lot with, and it's free for us. So I'm going to go ahead and press login. You can log in through Facebook, GitHub, Google, which is what I do. You could also uh, log in with email. But I'm going to go ahead and down here where it says create an account, that's where you'd actually create your account. And then that's where you would go ahead and sign in with Facebook or Google or whatever. I've already created an account, so I'm going to do, do sign in. And I'm going to sign in with my Google account. And once I'm in, it brings you to kind of like a dashboard that shows all of your different projects. You'll see all the different websites that I've made uh, through all the tutorials and things that I've done. But for you to start out with, what you're going to do is up here in the right tab that says New Project. It's going to create all kinds of different projects that you might be working with. Uh, in this case, all we're going to do is this Glitch Hello website. It's a very own basic web page ready for you to customize. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And right away you can see that it's got the code on the left and then it's going to have um, kind of a preview of it on the right. And that's kind of what we see here when we first start out. This is our, our kind of file system that's here on the left. The uh, README, this is kind of how to get started and tells you a little bit about what all the files are. Um, and then if I click on the index.html, that is actually our home page. That's the one main web page that we have. None of these other files are HTML pages, only this index page is. And you'll see here we've got the code on the left. And then on the right is the visual side. So if a browser were to, were to open it up, that's what it would look like. So I like to have my code here on the left and then the you know, actual you know, uh, preview of the website on the right. Now, there's different parts to an HTML page as we have discussed. There's obviously the opening tag of HTML that tells the browser, hey, we're reading HTML right now. And then at the very bottom, it's closing it out saying, hey, okay, browser, now stop reading HTML. Okay, so that's basically what we see here. There's also two main parts of the web page, the head. The head includes all of the information about your web page that is unseen. Okay, so it's things like what you see all these meta tags, M-E-T-A, meta means it's information for the browser to know about your website, but it doesn't have anything to do with the actual content of your website. So here it's linking to different icons or linking to different you know, titles and a lot of this stuff is really useful for search engine optimization through Google, um, Bing, and, and however else uh, search engines rank web pages. Most of that is done here in the head. You'll also notice that in the head we have what's called a title. A title is a way, a major way that search engines find web pages. Normally, that's what pops up here in the tab of your website. So if I was going to go to txstate.edu, you'll see here in the title, it says Texas State University. Up here in the tab, that is what's in their title. Now, it's technically not really part of the content of the page. It really is a way to just title the page. But that's a major way that uh, search engines will find your website. So if it's in the title, there's a good chance that that website is about that thing. So I would recommend if you're doing a little page about yourself that you just type in your name, home, and this is the home page for it. Now you won't see anything change on the page yet because it really, again, is not part of the content. It's just a way to title your page. Now if I had this tab open, that's what would pop up in the tab. But again, it's not part of the actual page itself. Another part that I want to bring you to is the, down here on line 42 for me, it is a style sheet. It's linking your style sheet, which we'll learn about in future modules, but this is a way to work with the style, the colors, the fonts, the paddings, and all that kind of stuff. Now what this is doing is it's connecting to this other file here, style.css, and we'll get to that in a future module, but 
for now, just know that don't delete anything here. Uh, most of the stuff that's here is needed for things like search engine optimization, titling your project, which I recommend you do, and then you know, referencing your style. And also here's one for script if you had like JavaScript or another language that you wanted to uh, provide. So most of this is stuff that I really don't want you to mess with too much, just mainly the title, um, and that's it for now. Now down here in the body, uh, the body is everything that you physically do see within your page. Uh, what they've done here, it's a little bit complicated because they've added things like a div. And, and think of divs as like kind of areas of content. It's divided areas of your page. So like if you're reading a magazine that has columns, that's basically what divs are. They're like boxes and uh, columns and all those kinds of things. Right now we don't really have many divs other than just the main one that's called main div and it's going to be the start of most of your content and you can see here that within that we've got our h1 now they've given us an h1 with a class so don't worry too much about the class right now but um, this is where we could type in you know a little message that's where we see hello world so i could change this to saying welcome or you can put your name or whatever you want them to see now you see that it it refreshed and it populated over here. So we've got an H1 listed here. Another thing we've got is an image. Now this image has a lot of attributes and values. The image tag opens and then it closes down here on line 67. It's got a source and in a future module I'm going to talk about how to upload your own images but for now you can see that that's what this kind of angled uh, image is is a link to this specific URL of wh where that image is hosted and you're gonna basically paste your own image in there if you want now there's other things you can add to this um, of course alt information you would change that to saying something like if this is a picture of me I would say John Zmickley that way it would be better for search engine I would type in something like my headshot <laughs> in case it needed a title and then another thing that you probably want to add is something like a width. width. And if your images just end up being way too big, you could always just add in like width, width 50% and it's going to change the width right here. Now it didn't do anything because in our style sheet it's actually messing with that right now, but if you do end up uploading your image then go ahead and maybe change that and um, see that at work. Now beyond that we've got something called this div instructions. I don't really need you to worry too much about the instructions part of it, but we do see an H2 and it says here using this project. And you might do a little bit about me, you know, and you could type in kind of whatever you want to. And now the paragraph is where you're actually going to start writing your content, okay? And so for the requirements of this project, uh, we need about 300 words. I would recommend doing breaking that into about three or four different paragraph tags, p tags, and just give me a lot of good content about yourself. Um, now this is saying adding a button, you don't really have to do that, um, but just kind of this section is where you're going to put a bulk of the content for this project. Paragraph, your list or table, uh, H1s, H2s, all that stuff can be here right really between lines 71 and 78. So that's really what I'm asking you to edit for this project. Now down here at the bottom you're also going to see a footer and that's referring to this stuff down here. You can see this white line is dividing the footer. Basically you don't have to do anything with that either although if you want to you can add you know your own little links or whatever you want to but I recommend just don't even mess with the footer here that they gave you. Mostly what you're doing is just uh, changing the content here uh, between lines 71 and 78 and adding your own links, images, um, you know, list, table, and all that kind of stuff. Now, if I want to view this, obviously I'm viewing it side by side, but if you want to view it in another window, you can always press the show button and you can show it in a new window. That way you can see it here on a big screen um, and or you could tab back here and see it side by side. So those are two different ways uh, to view it. Now in future lectures or future videos, I'm going to show you how to add images, links, and um, other things like, um, you know, adding other types of content like lists and tables. So uh, that's kind of all I wanted to show you for this verse video.